Okay, so this is the LA Brace training video to show how to correctly take the measurements for the LA 3D Brace. Have your client standing in front of you, have them move their arms slightly away from their body and make sure they're wearing a snug fitting shirt. Um, <clears throat> and then start with the uh, uh, tape measurement. You take the measurements at the greater to greater level just wrapping that around and just letting it rest against the body with minimal tension. So you're going to take that measurement, record that measurement, and then move up to what we call the three-quarter hip, which is halfway between the ASIS and the greater trochanter. You'll take that measurement, record that measurement, move up to the ASIS, and take a measurement circumference measurement same thing again just uh, just a little bit of tension not too much tension on the on the uh, tape measure right at the level of the ASIS the fourth measurement is your iliac which is actually supposed should be halfway between the ASIS and the waist measurement so if our ASIS is there and our waist measurement is here we want to be halfway between those two which is approximately there <clears throat> Again, take that uh, circumference measurement and record that measurement on your uh, measurement sheet. Then we'll take a waist measurement, and this should be the narrowest point of the body, and this should be your smallest measurement. We'll take a circumference measurement of this point, and this one should be pulled a little bit snugger, so there's a little bit of tension on your strap, like so. Now you have two more levels to go. You're going to take a costal measurement and a xiphoid measurement. The xiphoid measurement should be um, <clears throat> right at the xiphoid, just below the breast. And your costal measurement should be halfway between this measurement and your waist measurement. So that would be your costal measurement. That would be your xiphoid measurement. So that's all your circumferential measurements. Now you don't need to take two length measurements. You want a measurement from the length going up to the axilla. So that same point you took the uh, waist circumference measurement is your is your bottom point, and your top point is the anterior aspect of the of the superior aspect of the axilla. So I'm going to go into this point right here, measuring it down there, right to the waist. Now I'm keeping my finger there because now I'm going to place the uh, the measurement uh, the tape measurement at that point, and I'm measuring from here down to that trochanter. Not always easy to get that measurement. You've got to really kind of prod in there to make sure you get a greater trochanter measurement. And you want to measure the inferior aspect of the greater trochanter. Okay, and that's for everything we're going to do with the tape measure. <clears throat> for the rest, you're going to use your MO gauge. You're going to do the same levels again, and then just take a uh, a width measurement for those. So greater trochanter. Three quarter hip, ASIS, iliac, waist with just a little bit of tension, costal, xiphoid. And remember, your measurements should be the smallest in the waist, get bigger as it goes up the body, and get bigger as it goes low, uh, lower on the body. So, biggest measurements are at the very bottom and the top. It gets smaller as it gets to the waist, be the smallest measurement, and it gets bigger again as it comes down to, to the trochanter measurement. And that's it.